everyone, it's David from And Around We Go and this time we are setting up Starlink in a new location. Uh, I just realised that the previous location was still within range so things might have gone a bit differently. However, this location we are uh, several hundred kilometres away from where it was last set up and now I've turned off my um, Oh, sorry, turn the, turn the phone onto aeroplane mode so that we've lost mobile phone connectivity. So I've got no internet connection whatsoever, but I've turned Wi-Fi back on. So we're simulating being in an area with absolute zero mobile phone coverage. So, first thing we do is we open the Starlink app and we notice it says that we are disconnected. Now, that's quite interesting. If we scroll down from the top and we hold down on our Wi-Fi and we have a look, it tells us that Wi-Fi is on. There's our internet coming from or our Wi-Fi coming from Starlink and it says that sign-in is required so we're going to tap on that and it's connecting and it's connected now the reason it did that of course is because this is the phone that has the account on there so another little things tipped up there and said sign in now it's coming up with a Starlink website and there we go we've now signed into the Starlink website and you just heard a ding in the background that's my phone now working now I'm not going to log into this account just yet I'm going to go back to Starlink and you'll see it's now connected to online. So that's how we get online. We have to sign into the Wi Fi, even though it's our existing Wi Fi, it's making a sign in first. So now we have the unexpected location, and of course, we can try and click on that and we can try and update the uh, thing by clicking on manage subscription, click on service address as you would normally. But now I need to add the address in. How am I going to add the address in when I don't know where I am? Um, the Starlink app doesn't give you that capability. If you look at the map down below, once that scrolls in, so you can see I'm getting internet coverage here, even though I'm not got my correct address in there. It says to tap anywhere on the map to update it, but it doesn't have the option to, I can't scroll up the page, I can't scroll down the page. There's no button to say, locate me where I am, where am I? So I can only enter in the address manually. So we're gonna jump out of there for a sec. We're gonna to go to Google Maps. Now remembering I am offline, but this is actually giving me live data. So I can click where am I, goes to the spot, tap on the spot where I am, scroll up, and that should give me in a few seconds. Uh, oh, no, I missed it. Tap on the spot where exactly, and there we go. And now it's giving me the Google short code. So I click on the copy code, copy to my phone, go back to the Starlink app, click on service address again, wait for Starlink to load, and service address not entered. So, I, whoops, wrong one. I want to click on the service address, I want to click on where it says standard, I want to delete that wording standard, I'm going to tap on the copied thing or I can click and hold there and click paste, whichever you would like to do. It comes up with, the, tap on that one, so you do, click update address, give it a few seconds, you can see now the map is showing pretty much exactly where I am and it's now updated to Tom Price, which is exactly where I am right now. So up on the top left corner I've got the X, close that and then go back from subscription back to online. We're now online but you can still see at the top of my screen it's still showing the Wi-Fi signal with an exclamation mark so it's showing I don't have service, still showing that I'm in an unexpected location. Now from the last time I tried this that's going to continue for about another 15 minutes. Once that disappears uh, everything then works properly so it's just got to update the account uh, back in the US uh, on the Starlink systems once that's updated and it then recognizes this location as being a valid location for this residential service remember this is a residential service we're using um, then we'll be good to go so that's pretty much all I can show you for now until another 15 minutes time when it just will start working okay thanks guys bye